Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of China Tech. And today we are just doing a quick comparison between the i12 TWS AirPods and the newer i13s. So with that said, let's jump straight into it. So you might have seen my recent video on the i13 TWS AirPods. These are the newer models, sort of the updated model to the i12s. These have been pretty popular on my channel. I've made a few videos on these. And so now we're checking out the i13s and just seeing sort of the main differences between these newer i13s and the i12s. So starting with the outside, they honestly look identical. There is not a single difference here. You can see they've both got the buttons on the back. They both have lightning ports on the bottom, the same hinge up the front. It's the same design. Honestly, they look identical and they both just look like real AirPods. It's actually pretty cool until you feel them. They do feel a bit more plasticky than real AirPods, but just looking from a distance especially, you cannot tell that these are fake, which is pretty awesome for them both. You do start to notice differences though once you open up the lid. So before we even get out an AirPod, there is one big difference, which is actually the hinge connecting the sort of lid to the actual base of the AirPod. So you can see, opening this hinge, the i12's lid closes a lot faster than the i13s. These are the i13s and their hinge, just like the real AirPods, actually sticks open a bit. It's not a lot, but it can stick open. The i12s, every single time the i12s is just gonna snap back shut. So it's just a little thing, but it really is quite a big difference once you're actually using them. You know, you can pop the i13s off and they actually hold open. The i12s, they can actually just, you know, you open them and they snap back shut. Whereas at least on the i13s, they can pop open a bit just like the real AirPods. So just checking out the two AirPods, you can see we have the i12 on the left and the i13 on the right. So both are flashing lights just to say that they're sort of searching for a phone. You can see the i13's light is actually a bit brighter than the i12s. In person, it's very clear that the i13s have a brighter light, which really isn't that much of a big deal. The light turns off as soon as they connect, but it is just something to notice. The bigger difference you'll notice is that the i13 AirPods do have those sensor dots. So you can see a sensor dot on the back and the front. On the i12s, there is no sensor dot. So all that does really is just make the i13s look that much more like the real AirPods. But honestly, unless you're looking at them really close up, unless you're literally holding them, it's almost impossible to tell the difference. But the i13s do go that extra step, which is good to see. And the last major difference that I've noticed between these two AirPods is just how much better the gestures are on these i13s compared to the i12s. Now, don't get me wrong, the i12 gesture detection was still pretty good. So if you don't know, you can sort of do one tap two taps or three taps on the side of the AirPod. So on the i12s that works pretty well. The i13s though do step it up a bit and I find the gestures work extremely well on the i13s, just a little bit quicker, probably due to Bluetooth 5.0 used in these AirPods compared to Bluetooth 4.2 in the i12s. Just that extra little bit makes the gestures on the i13s that much better. And of course, the i13s are also slightly more expensive than the i12s, but honestly, the difference is not that much. It might be, you know, four or five dollars difference. The i13 slightly more expensive because they are the newer model but overall if you're trying to decide between the two I would go for the i13s hands down just those extra little upgrades Bluetooth 5.0 making those gestures a lot better as well as improving the actual looks of the AirPods really do make these i13s an incredible AirPod fake if that is what you're after the i12s of course are great as well but for just a few bucks more you can grab the newer i13s and that is what I would recommend on the other hand though if you have a pair of i12s already honestly I really don't think the i13s are worth the upgrade. Obviously, they are a bit better than the i12s. They do have a few improvements, but in my opinion, at least not enough to warrant getting a whole new pair of AirPods. With that said, though, if you are interested in checking out more information on these i13s, I'll have a link up there to my latest review of these AirPods, as well as a link to them in the video description if you want to check it out. And you know what? I'll just chuck up my videos for the i12s as well. Check them out as well as at the link in the video description. If you want to see more videos on these AirPods, definitely let me know in the comment section and you can also do that by leaving a like and subscribing down below. I am planning on doing a battery life test of these i13s. I haven't actually had these i13s that long. They haven't actually run out of charge once, so I don't know how long the battery life is, but I'm planning on doing a battery life test similar to my i12's battery life test for these new AirPods, so definitely subscribe if you want to see that. Apart from that though, thank you for watching another video from China Tech, and I'll catch you in the next video.